Hi, I'm James Lowe. And I'm Justine Murphy, and this is Light Matters for July 9th, 2014. On this week's show, compressive imaging unscrambles light, hollow core optical fibers protect against UV light, spectroscopy sheds light on solar panels, metamaterials allow one-way visible light, and SPIE mourns the loss of co-founder Robert Waltz. A new compressive optical sensing technique conquers light scattering limitations of biological tissue, allowing a deeper look inside the body. A single pixel optical system developed by researchers from Universidad Jaume Premier and the University of Valencia has shown that light scattering and the subsequent image scrambling that often occurs with existing technologies such as ultrasound and x-ray can be averted when imaging the body's tissues deeper than a millimeter under the skin. The researchers used a standard digital micromirror array from a commercial video projector to create a set of microstructured light patterns that are sequentially superimposed onto a sample. The transmitted energy was measured with a photo detector that has no spatial resolution but can sense the presence or absence of light. The new single pixel optical system based on a compressive sensing signal processing technique was then used to reconstruct the image. This new technique could potentially operate through dynamic scattering as calibration of the medium is not required and its fluctuations during the sensing stage do not limit imaging ability. The research is published in Optics Express. A new type of optical fiber developed by the Max Planck Institute and the Center for Quantum Engineering and Space-Time Research can now guide UV laser light without sustaining damage that is often seen in conventional fibers. The new optical fiber has a hollow core, whereas traditional optical fibers have a solid glass core. Traditional fibers are most often used to transport light of various spectral ranges, from IR to visible light. UV light, however, has a shorter wavelength that is strongly absorbed into the glass and subsequently damages the optical fibers. The hollow core is 20 microns in diameter and was designed for single-mode light guiding with an intensity distribution similar in shape to a Gaussian bell curve. The new fiber could benefit applications such as quantum computing, fluorescence microscopy, and greenhouse gas spectroscopy. The research was published in Optics Express. Scientists now have a much better understanding of the inner workings of plastic solar panels thanks to femtosecond stimulated Raman spectroscopy. The work could further efforts to improve solar panels and broaden their use, according to researchers from the University of Montreal, England's Science and Technology Facilities Council, Imperial College London, and the University of Cyprus. Specifically, they have discovered how light excites the molecules and generates current in solar panels based on blends of polymeric semiconductors and fullerene derivatives. The femtosecond spectroscopy technique has allowed the researchers to gather information on the vibration of molecules. The study found that after the electron moves away from the positive center, the molecules must rearrange themselves within around 300 femtoseconds. Such speed helps maintain charge separation and any ongoing relaxation and molecular reorganization processes following this initial charge separation should be extremely small. The research is published in Nature Communications. A structure based on hyperbolic metamaterials allows visible light to pass in only one direction, creating new possibilities for optical circuits and biosensing. Developed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology in Maryland, the device integrates a silver and silicon dioxide glass nanostructure with sub-wavelength diffraction gratings made of chromium. The 20-layer nanostructure, which was created using thin film deposition techniques, is opaque to external light, but allows light to propagate inside over a narrow range of angles. A grating on the face of the nanostructure bends the incident light, allowing it to enter. Another grating on the opposite face permits the light to exit, but at a different angle than it entered. The gap spacing of the second grating is slightly different from the first, causing it to bend incident light either too much or not enough to enter the silver glass nanostructure. About 30 times more light passed through the forward direction than in the reverse, according to the researchers. Similar devices have been made to manipulate IR light and microwaves, but the NIST project was the first to be applied to the visible spectrum. In the future, the researchers say the new structure could be integrated into photonic chips and nanoparticle detectors for biosensing applications. The research was published in Nature Communications. Robert L. Woltz, one of the founders of SPIE, the International Society for Optics and Photonics, passed away recently at the age of 92. He served as the society's third president and spent more than a decade on its board of directors. After co-founding SPIE in 1955, Woltz worked for many years to establish new chapters of the society nationwide and eventually helped it expand in other countries. Woltz remained active with SPIE until his death. 
In 1970, he established Robert Woltz Associates Incorporated, which focused on designing and producing specialized photonic products. He is survived by his wife and three children. That's it for this edition of Light Matters. Email us with your questions or comments at lightmatters at photonics.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.